So here we have another 2023 Nissan Aria. And this one is in the premier trim level. Comes in this beautiful Northern Lights exterior paint. It's gonna be that emerald green. And then our interior consists of the charcoal suede and leather seats. And the powertrain is gonna be a 238 horsepower, 178 kilowatt front mounted electric battery, or electric motor, excuse me. Made it with an 87 kilowatt hour liquid cooled battery. Then we have a 7.2 kilowatt onboard charger. But there are the LED signature lights along with the LED headlamps and LED fog lights. And the lights don't flash, that's just my camera picking them up. But love the futuristic look of the Aria. It really does go with the name. And where the grill would be, I love how they put the really neat looking design there. Just looks like a car you'd see in iRobot. And then down here we have the bronze finished 19 inch aluminum wheels, which look fantastic. I love how they went with the aero design, but didn't necessarily make them hubcaps. We get passive keyless entry on all four doors. And then here we have the controls for our one touch up and down windows power folding mirrors and there are the blind spot monitors there and then we can control our power mirrors with these four arrows here depending on which side we want and then we can lock our windows power door lock controls there and then memory seat function there you can fit a pretty good size cup in this cup holder and there we have our power driver's seat with power lumbar support so I have the seat in front of me adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 and I'm sitting back here and my knees are actually not touching the back of the seat now I reviewed I think it was the Empower, and I'm not sure if my legroom was this good, but I'm quite impressed here. And I like that we have seat pockets behind both seats. The vents are back here. Three-stage heated outboard seats, and then we have a USB-C and a USB-A fast charge port there. And the middle seat folds down for cup holders. And I do like we have the grab handles on all four doors and we can also hang a couple of shirts there without it getting in the way. And then one of my favorite things is going to be the two stage soft touch lights that we have here. Just makes it feel so, so premium. And that's really what makes the Aria so great in my opinion is it's one of the most futuristic feeling EVs that I've been in. It may not be the fastest or have the fastest charge times, all that stuff, but it just looks really, really nice. And a piece came out there, but that'll be fixed. Plenty of storage, of course. I think this is that piece right here. Yep. But LED tail lights look fantastic. Like I said, just one of the sharpest EVs, if not the sharpest looking EV out there right now. And then we can fold this seat down. And that'll fold flat and then we can run longer objects through there and then it just shuts back into place I don't want to have the seat belt stuck in there now before we take a look at the passenger side I just want to go through this window sticker y'all can pause it wherever show you all the standard features 
And the only upcharges we have are the mats and then the premium paint. And they get you for 56 610. But here's our power front passenger seat. And like I said before in my last audio review, just really futuristic look and just the interior for the most part. Almost forgot to show this. Here we have our charge ports here. Just pull that. Then you can snap them back in. And then what's really cool about having a front mounted motor is you have kind of an engine bay here of course it's not an engine but now I will say I wish we had hydraulics for the front but there's probably a reason they're not in there so I have to like hold it up And that's interesting. 70% made in Japan, 30% made in China. Well, let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So a really nice leather wrapped steering wheel here. And I love the futuristic look. I said this about the last one. It's kind of got like a self-driving feel to it with just the two-spoke steering wheel. Now over here to the radio, we do get a navigation system. Then we also get AM, FM, XM radio, along with Bluetooth audio. Then we have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. There's just a look at each screen there. That's, there's the navigation system. Now we have dual zone automatic climate controls and we can adjust the temperature either with a touch screen or then for the important stuff, we have touch sensitivity there, fan speed, so on and so forth, the froster. Then we can cut the fans off and then what I like about this is with the screen, let me cut it back on, I can actually decide where the air is going pretty easily and then I can toggle the fan speed here and then those heated seats I can either put on the auto mode or I can adjust what level I want them on and cut them off. And the screen is actually pretty easy to use. I thought it would be kind of a pain because everything's here but so far after using it twice it's really really good at responding to touch. There's a heated steering wheel. I can cut that on to auto mode or turn it off. And then we can set it to driver only for the AC. And then we can have that second mode on as well for the front passenger. Then for the rear, we can control the seat heaters. Now there's our backup camera there. I love the guidelines that kind of go with you as you turn the steering wheel. And it goes with that bird's eye view as well, which is really nice. And then you have automatic parking as well. And that's nice to have. And then we have our brightness here. We can toggle that there. And then we can toggle that camera as well. And what's cool is with the camera mode, I can go from this view to the curbside view, and then I just have that backup camera that gives you a nice wide angle. Then the hazards are here, and they really did a good job. You have the volume knob here, then you have your track list where you can go through that, or radio station, depending on what you're on.
Now, one of my favorite features is going to be this hidden pocket here. So before I get to everything, I wanna show you that. So that can open and close, which is really neat. And then just the subtle nuances like, I love the lighting that's coming from right there. It looks really, really neat. I mean, just this whole center stack here just looks completely futuristic. But to the shifter here, you hold this button, pull down for drive, hold for neutral, and then hit the button, pull all the way up for reverse, press P for park. And then of course in drive mode, you can tap down again to get you in that uh, B mode, which is just maxing out your regen. And then you have your drive mode you can go through, eco, standard, and sport. And then you have your automatic park you can toggle from here as well and the e-step which is going to be that one pedal drive cup holders in here and then a nice wireless charging pad there and you can move this back and forth these arrows And then you actually have, which I'm looking at upside down, but you have a 12 volt USB-C and USB-A input there. And I like how they have this in the floor because it's out of the way and then you can put your phone in here if you need to use the cord for whatever reason. There's your electronic parking brake, pull up to engage, press down while your foot's on the brake to disengage. And we also have a rear camera mirror here. And then we have a panoramic roof. And I think this is a two touch slide, so you can slide that there and then hit it one more time, it'll go all the way back. And then you can one touch close it. And I pushed it instead of pulled it. And then you have the garage door transmitter here and that power shade to close it all the way is going to be a two touch and then the glove compartment here is way back in there which I like but very small but it looks really sleek with it being this slim I guess and I love how they did the AC vents it looks everything in here just looks really really sleek I'm very impressed now to go through the radio stations or track list presets or the presets or track list you can go through using these arrows here and then here we can toggle our shortcut menu and we can use this button to go through the gauge cluster or well, these two arrows excuse me and I just love the graphics here it looks really good picture and volume controls here and then scroll bar here and also use to go through each individual menu and then to the right side of the steering wheel we have our gap adjust voice recognition and then this is going to be our Bluetooth button and then we can toggle our safety shield here and this is supposed to be a lane change alert or a lane change button, I believe. But I can't get it to work, so I'm going to try it again on this test drive. Auto high beams here, blinkers, headlamps, fog lights. And then to the right side, we have our rear wiper, auto, low, high, and then rear wiper fluid front wiper fluid and then we do have a heads-up display and there's that there there's our push button start and finally here's our key fob 